Welcome to Game Day Northwest. My name is Brennan Wolford alongside Kyle Potasnik. We have a packed show today with sports recaps and a feature story on one of the best bowlers in the state. Let's get started. Last Tuesday, the boys' swim and dive team competed at Prairie Trail. Jake Taylor and Jackson Millman have the recap of that event. The boys' swim and dive team had their senior night last Tuesday at Prairie Trail. Coach Cruzen and the team were ready to compete against the Blue Valley Northwest Huskies. Chris Kramer and Sam Silvers led the team with first place finishes in their events. The boys also claimed first place as a team. Diving side, Josh Reed and Brant Picarin took first and second in the one meter dive. Come out and support your Ravens this Friday as they compete in the Sunflower League meet at Prairie Trail. For Game Day Northwest, I'm Jackson Mealman. Now back to the desk. The girls basketball team set the Kansas State three point record on Saturday by seeing 17 three pointers against Ulysses in the Newton tournament. Friday night, the boys basketball team took on the Mill Valley Jaguars. Connor Gertis and Brenda Wolford were there. On Friday, Olathe Northwest played the Mill Valley Jaguars at home. The Raven offense got the scoring going early with a great start by sophomore Charlie Holmgren. The Ravens were led by senior Evan Reed, who put hit multiple threes and stole the ball for an uncontested layup. Ultimately, the Jaguars offense proved too much for the Ravens by hitting a barrage of threes throughout the game to lift them to a 47-54 victory. The loss pushes the Ravens' record to 10 and 4 on the season. The Ravens played Shawnee Mission West on Friday. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Connor Gertis. Now back to the desk. Did you know that Olathe Northwest is home to one of the top female bowlers in the state? Tanner Holland gives us an inside look on senior Mackenzie Solner. As a sophomore, Mackenzie Solner won state for bowling. As a senior, she looks to go off on top and win the state title. My grandpa was a bowler and both my parents are bowlers, my whole family's bowler. When I was born, like after a couple of weeks they would bring me to their leagues on Thursday, so I'd just sleep under the table. So I've been there all my life. Kenzie has high hopes for this season. I'd really like to win state again and I'd also like to have the high female average in Kansas for the third year third year in a row and also have a uh, first team all state. The bowling team is off to a good start. The team has come together as a whole. We are pretty like outgoing and we try and be friends and just get along with each other. We build each other up, like we don't tear each other down like some teams do and that's really big. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Tanner Holland. Now back to the desk. The wrestling team traveled to Gardner Edgerton last Tuesday. Brady Jensen has the story. The Ravens traveled to Gardner to take on the Gardner Edgerton Trailblazers last Tuesday. The Ravens started off strong, winning two of their first three, and quickly slid, only winning two more matches that night. The Ravens did receive a big win from JV wrestler, freshman Cody Marlette. Will Whitaker, Taylor Jokers, and Anthony Macaluso also won. Unfortunately, the Ravens lost 55 to 22. Come support the Ravens as they take on the Olathe East Hawks here tomorrow. For Game Day Northwest, this is Brady Jensen. Now back to the desk. Be sure to get out and support all of our Raven athletic teams. For Brennan Wolford, I'm Kyle Potastic, and I'm back to you guys at the desk.